So I forgot to address one thing when talking about flux in, in the Faraday lens law. I forgot to address lenses law. We did Faraday's law in calculating the values. We never talked about the direction, which is really what lens cared about and what lens, how lens contributed to this. So in this example we had here, we said that the field was up and it's decreasing at a rate of 0.2 teslas per second. What that means is, so it, what that means to us is this is this negative sign here, right? It says the EMF and the, and the current, which I could also write the current if I wanted to over here as um, I is equal to minus N over resistance delta flux over delta T. So both the EMF and the current, they are trying to oppose the change in the flux. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at this and say, well, my field is decreasing. So it doesn't want to change. So it, it's going to try and generate a current that supports the magnetic field and keeps, keeps it the way it is, right, in this case. So it's decreasing, so it's going to try and help it out. So it's going to generate a current that is going to create an upward magnetic field. So to do that, what, gonna, what I want to figure out is I want to generate a magnetic field at, upwards, so I want to wrap my fingers in the direction of the current, and my thumb is going to point in the direction of the magnetic field. So I'm going to generate a current going that way to support the magnetic field. Now if we had done this the other way and said the magnetic field was increasing, this 0.2 teslas is positive. So let's go ahead and make that positive on our paper. So let's put a plus sign here. So now that means the magnetic field is getting stronger this way. Well, Faraday lens law doesn't like change. It likes to stay where it is. So it's actually going to create a magnetic field going the other way, going down. And that downward magnetic field is going to have to create a different current. So I'm going to take my hand and do the right-hand rule. I'm going to wrap my fingers in the direction of the current. The current finger is going to wrap that way. My thumb points in the direction of the field. So in the case that this is positive, I would have current going that way. So the direction of the current is going to, to oppose the change in magnetic field. So that's the way I was thinking about it. It's like, okay, my, my flux is, you know, it, it's decreasing, so I want to try and support the flux, or my flux is increasing, so I want to try and keep it from going up. I want to oppose it. And that's really important to keep track of that. A lot of those questions on the AP exam are going to say, oh, I have a bar magnet, right? Let's flip this over real quick. So I have a bar magnet approaching a ring, right? Let's say this is the north side of my bar magnet, and it's a approaching a ring. So what direction is going to the current induced in the ring? Well, if I draw the field of my bar magnet, it's going to have some lines kind of like this and kind of go up through here and, and go that way, etc. Right? And I guess let's draw it fully out. Why not? So these are going to loop, make nice loops. These are going to come in like that. You'll have some and coming in draw my arrows, these guys are coming out, going out, and you'll have some smaller loops in here, right? And if you're bringing it closer to this ring though, right, more of this magnetic field is going to pass through the ring as I get closer. So what that's going to do for me is it's going to, my ring is going to say, Oh, I have more magnetic field going this way. But I want to oppose the change in the magnetic field. I want to create a magnetic field going this way to oppose it. So I'm going to use my right hand rule for current traveling in a ring. So my fingers are going to be the current. My thumb will be the magnetic field. So I'm going to, I want my thumb pointing to the left. So to point my thumb to the left, my fingers have to wrap like this. So they're going to have to come this back side of the ring. It has to point down and up here it has to point up. To oppose that. Now, if, when I when I back the magnet away, if I pull the magnet away from the ring, it's going to do the opposite. It'll flip. So the direction of the current is very much dependent on the motion of the magnet or on the direction of the change in the magnetic field.
All right, I'll see you in the next video.